My friends, what's going on guys? My name is Kai, welcome to the Sober Living channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. What I love to do on my channel is just give tips, hope, and advice to anybody out there struggling with an active addiction, letting them know that there is help, there is hope, and there definitely is a way to recover. My friends, I'm 381 days sober today. Thank you so much for joining me, man. I really appreciate it. So, guys, I have mentioned in the past that I absolutely love video games. I love video games. Uh, I think that they're a lot of fun, and I think that they are a fantastic um, distraction for when you are getting over an addiction, you know? Um, like they say, uh, craving only lasts for 15 minutes, so being able to uh, pull out a handheld Game Boy or uh, pop in a disc on my PlayStation, doesn't matter. It's a great distraction and um, yeah, it gets, it gets me through the day at least. So what I wanted to do is I just wanted to take a moment to show off my PlayStation Portable collection. So um, when I was young, when I was, the PlayStation Portable came out when I was 14. And I remember when it came out because um, I just thought it was the, the coolest thing in the world because I was getting to that age where I was 14. I was kind of getting over the Nintendo thing and I was, I was, you know, becoming a young adult and I wanted to play these, these really cool games. And I remember getting my first PSP with a game called Infected. And Infected is a game where um, you're in New York City at Christmas time and there's a big zombie apocalypse and you're fighting all these zombies and it's a lot of fun. Uh, one of the bosses is a Santa Claus zombie. It, I, it was just a lot of fun. I had fond memories of it. And then the other day I was on the buy and sell, like on the Facebook marketplace. God, that thing is a curse, man. I'm on there way too much. But I was on the Facebook Marketplace and there was somebody selling a PSP or a PlayStation Portable um, and they were discounting it heavily because it was from Europe. It was a European uh, PSP. But it didn't bother me because I found out that the games were region free so it didn't matter. Uh, the only thing is the plug doesn't match the plugs we have here in Canada so I had to buy an adapter for it but other than that it's been great so I've been able to relive a lot of my old uh, childhood uh, well I guess not childhood young adulthood um, and it's just so cool it's just such a cool feeling I remember when I was younger here's my PSP here um, I remember when I was younger one of the features on this that was much different at the time was you could put music on this and then listen to it out of the speaker and I remember being in high school and like going to these forest parties where we're all hanging out in the forest drinking doing drugs all of that stupid stuff um, and I remember us all sitting around a PSP listening to music on it even though the head even though the quality of the music was just absolutely terrible um, but that's enough for my background I just wanted to show you guys my collection so um, I have a whole bunch of loose games uh, that I'm not going to show here because I'm not going to show every loose game I have. But I've got games like um, God of War, I've got all of the Grand Theft Auto games, I've got um, the Burnout games, the Wipeout games. Um, those I have not in a case, but the games that I do have in a case I'll show you here. So um, the first one I'll show you is SOCOM, uh, fun, you know, uh, marine game. It's pretty good for the PSP to be honest with you. Um, Killzone Liberation. It's much different than uh, the regular Killzone games, but uh, like regular Killzone games are first person shooters. This is a top down running gun, uh, but it's a lot of fun, but it's hard as nails. I've only gotten to like the third level and then I had to quit. So couldn't do that anymore. Uh, Siphon Filter, Dark Mirror. Uh, I really, really enjoy the Siphon Filter games. I think that they, uh, I think that they just knock it out of the park, and I think that they're an incredibly underrated uh, game franchise. I've never heard any of my friends be like, "Yeah, I like Siphon Filter," you know. Uh, but then here I have the other Siphon Filter game, uh, Logan Shadow. So haven't played this yet, but I'm looking forward to it big time. Um, I've got MOB 06, the show, 
Um, the reason I love these old sports games is uh, they have the old rosters, you know? So I'm a huge baseball fan, and um, playing a game that, you know, came out in 2006, all of those big stars are retired now. So it's a lot of fun to play those older games. Uh, I got this game, Medieval Resurrection. Uh, it's the first remake of the, the medieval franchise, and I gotta tell you, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't know why everybody rants and raves about the medieval franchise. I really don't like it. I think the combat in it is terrible. I think the comedy in it is is abysmal. I, I just don't like it at all. And the main villain in this game has got to be the ugliest like creation that I've ever seen and not like ugly in a good way like oh wow that's the villain ugly in a ew I don't want to look at this you know I don't want to look at this character either way um another one Ghost Recon 2 um I don't know if the glare is catching it but Ghost Recon 2 uh I really like army games I really but I don't like uh first person army games I like third person army games so like those games um, and then I've got a classic, uh, The Simpsons Game. Oh, there you go. Simpsons Game. A lot of fun. It's actually basically a full conversion of the PlayStation uh, 3 game, or PlayStation 2 or PlayStation 3. Either way, it's like a full conversion of it. It's really good. It's really good. I like it. Uh, co the comedy in it lands. I like it. And then this one, this one hits home for me. This one hits home for me the most because I... I kind of was just in a mental hospital. The The rehab center that I was in um, would technically be a mental hospital. And then I've got the game Manhunt 2. And it's an ultra-violent game uh, where you're basically escaping um, an insane asylum where people have been doing experiments on you. I'm not too far into it, uh, but it's, it's pretty damn cool. And being somebody who's been to a mental hospital, uh, to play a game set in a mental hospital where you're like escaping it and like fighting off all the, the nurses and doctors, it's definitely weird, you know? Um, but this one, da hands, hands down my favorite game on the PSP, 100%. Um, so that's it really. Oh, there is one other thing that I wanted to show you because I have it out of the box right now. My sister, bought me a gold N64. Uh, do I have it accessible to me here? Yeah, I do. Hold on, guys, one second. Uh. Yes. So, I also have the gold N64. <laughs> this was a exclusive in Japan, I believe, at Toys R Us. And uh, when my sister bought this for me, uh, I don't think it was as expensive as it is now. It was still very expensive, but that's my kind of pride and joy, you know? Um, I don't even play it. I don't even play it. I don't keep the, the things attached to it. I don't keep a game in it. Nothing. This is my pr little video game pride and joy. Um, but I used to be a huge N64 collector, and um, I had a very large N64 collection and unfortunately when I got out of rehab I just didn't have any money. I, I didn't have any money at all. Uh, so I ended up selling my entire N64 collection. I ended up keeping the the console itself because it was a gift and because it was because it, it's rare uh, but I ended up selling the rest of my collection and I got like fourteen hundred dollars for it so it was a big collection. Um, but I'll get into that another day I just wanted to let you guys know, um, video games really have helped me a lot. Um, video games are a fantastic way to stay sober because you get to lose yourself, um, especially if you're playing a role-playing game. Uh, I find that either role-playing games or puzzle games um, are absolutely the best for um, for getting over cravings and stuff like that because in a role-playing game you can lose yourself for hours in it you know if if you're worried about what you're going to do between the time that you get home from work and the time that you like fall asleep uh play video games <laughs> it, it's a huge distraction 
Um, other than that, guys, I just wanted to uh, show you my collection here, and I just want to say hi. And other than that, I'm going to get going. I might upload another one, another video tonight about a scary story that happened while I was in the hospital. Um, but we'll see how that goes. I'm not too sure. I've got a lot of cleaning up to do. And um, yeah, I've, I've just got housework to do. All right, guys. So wherever you are in the whole wide world, please be safe. Please be sober. And you know, if you're not being sober, that's totally cool. That's totally fine. Just have a ride home. Stay safe. Every single one of your friends wants you to wake up tomorrow and your parents love you very much. And your kids. Come on, guys. You can do it. You can do it. All right. Uh, bye. <laughs>